Hey, welcome back to the garden pit. Yeah, today we're down in the grow room there on a rainy day. And do nothing outside, so uh, it's a good day to uh, start some seed indoors here. Uh, today we're going to be planting some summer squash, some winter squash, a watermelon, uh, pumpkins, uh, some nasturtiums, uh, sweet peas, and I'm going to try some uh, hibiscus seed. Hold on! All right, we're all ready to plant. Uh, first thing I'm going to plant is the uh, pumpkin. Uh, the variety's called Howden. It will fill the old container up with some seed start and mix here. Uh, we're going to plant them about an uh, inch deep. They yeah, haven't grown pumpkins in quite a few years. I think I tried to start some last year and they never came up. Yeah, pretty big seeds there. Yeah, I'm gonna start them like I usually start. I'll put them all in a in a uh, same pot here. Yeah, I won't let them grow very long in these pots either. Uh, these they get a little big here. I'm transplanting them. Hopefully, I'll put them out in the uh, greenhouse. When it warms up a little bit, it was supposed to warm up on this coming kind of week, but the weather's changed. Uh, they're calling for like snow out in the western part of the state today. Yeah, nothing like that here, of course. That's up in the mountains. But uh, it's supposed to be cool this week, Aaron. I wanted to move my uh, peppers out there, but I'm going to wait. Right now, they're saying maybe next week it'll be. In the high 70s, close to 80s. So I'm hoping I want to get them out in the greenhouse, get them some real sun. Yeah, today uh, I ran out of the uh, <coughs> liquid seaweed, so I'm using the. Uh, Liquid, car liquid Karma from Botanicare. I'm going to use that to water them in today. It's a, a seaweed based solution there. Put it in there and let it get all watered up. There she goes. I'll let that sap that up like a biscuit, and uh, we're going to go to the next thing. Now we're going to start start planting the uh, summer squash. That's basically the same method as the uh, pumpkin there. Going to put that uh, plant that an inch deep. I got uh, four varieties I'm going to be growing this year. The first one I'm going to plant here is called Ford Hook Zucchini. Seems like this uh, method of growing and starting it in a one pot. And transplant is uh, working very well for me. They like said, like to do that that way. I get, I get get the strongest plant out of the pot there and transplant it. I I'll assure me of having strong plants when I plant outside. I 
Uh, I'm not going to show you. Be planting the rest of them. You all got the idea. They're all basically the same planting method, but uh, that's it. That's all it is to it. Put it in the old liquid karma there. Uh, the other three varieties I'm planting is uh, one called Sunstripe. I believe it's a uh, like a zucchini. Like a has a like a orange and yellow stripe on it. Uh, the next variety is called Sun Glow. I think it's like a like a crook neck squash. And the last variety is called Summer Ball. It's a uh, grows like a pumpkin. There you can pick them young or you can let them mature. And what's it say on here? It could get up to uh, two pounds if you let it mature. And it, it could storm, storm for a short time. Okay, I got all the summer squash planted. Now I'm going to plant some uh, watermelon. This uh, first variety I'm going to be planting is called Moon's Moon and Stars, a uh, Van Dorn strain. Uh, with with uh, I'm I'm starting something a little different here when I'm planting seeds indoors and outdoors. I'm making a note of who the seed company is that uh, I bought the seed from because uh, in the past I've had some problems with uh, seed germinating. Due to due to the uh, seed starter I was using, but uh, you know I all have the same problem outside. I can't blame it on the seed starter. So sometimes I think the uh, seed companies, some of the seed companies I've bought seed from, the seed isn't all that good. So we're going to start uh, tracking that. I'm going to start uh, dealing with uh, seed companies that sell good seed have good prices there uh, you know like anybody I don't be wasting my money on bad seed seeds are most of the time aren't really that cheap but uh, I'm going to be planting these a half inch deep I'm planting about nine seeds in each each of these pots I've been planting today for the squash and the watermelon yeah and nothing worse than get some seed and plant them and they don't come up that's uh, so disappointing when you got weeds out there come up everywhere they don't have no problem germinating uh, you know, I, I don't see the, why you should get bad seeds from these seed companies. Uh, some of them do that. Some of the seeds aren't, aren't all that good. And I don't know if it's old seed or what the deal is. But that watermelon's planted. I'm going to plant five, five varieties this year. The second variety is called Ukedu. This is a, a variety that I grew a few years ago. And I saved the seed. Uh, this watermelon comes from Japan. Uh, a few years back, somebody in Japan paid $6,100 for one watermelon. This variety. I don't, I don't know what was so special about it, but that's a pretty crazy price to pay for a watermelon. Uh, it's a it's a very very uh, strong growing watermelon. It has a real thick stem one. I've never seen a stem so thick on a watermelon. But uh, I'm gonna uh, grow that. Uh, the next variety is uh, called Yellow Crunch. That uh, I bought that from a seed company. Um, third variety is called Crimson Sweet. This is a uh, I don't know if you call it a homegrown. It's a, it's a watermelon I bought from a farmer. This thing was huge. It must have been 30 pounds. It must have been about yay round. 
It was a big worm. I said, well, I'm going to save the seed of that and grow it and see what happens. And uh, Crimson Sweet's uh, open pollinated watermelon, so there should be no problem here, there. And the uh, last watermelon's, uh, I don't know the variety name of it. I bought, I bought this off another uh, a vegetable stand on the eastern shore of Maryland. It was a, a small, probably four or five pound watermelon. It had yellow, yellow meat to it. I'm, I'm calling it v Veggie Stand Mini Yellow. But uh, it was a very, very uh, tasty watermelon. All these watermelon has seeds. Uh, at the, anything you get at the store nowadays is there's seedless watermelon. It seems like the seeded watermelons have disappeared from the stores. Although the seedless, seedless watermelons are, are good, but you know I like to see a variety out there. You know you don't see that in the stores anymore. Everybody sells a seedless. All right, I'm gonna go plant the rest of these. I'll be back when I get done that.